okay. Hello. Today, I'm, hi. Today I'm going to cook a recipe. I'm going to make um, lasagna. I guess it's like a lasagna boot because I'm going. We're going to cook them inside our lasagna. Um, or spaghetti squash, I'm sorry. Spaghetti squash lasagna. Yeah. So, yes, Annalie. Yeah. Yes, Annalie. I can't right now, honey. So, um, I'm glad that you guys could join us. And let me see, I'm just going to wait a second. A few seconds. Now, the recipe isn't a um, particular recipe. I just kind of um, looked at some recipes and went off of that, and I'm trying to take it from there, and I'm going to kind of do my own thing. Let's see. Um, need to... Trying to tell if I'm I'm going or not. I'm not seeing me on my computer. You know what? Because oh here I am. Okay. So and if you have any questions along the way, go ahead and ask me. I'd be happy to answer them for you. Alrighty. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to cook your, your spaghetti squash. I don't know if you're familiar with how to do that, but what you do is, um, I put it in the microwave for a few minutes just so that it makes it easier to cut because spaghetti squash is extremely hard to cut. Let me wash my hands, I haven't done that yet. Um, so I put it in the microwave for about four minutes. And then after the four minutes, I you cut it down the middle, and you can cut the ends off because it helps it with cutting the um, because cutting through that stem is absolutely horrible. So um, and another thing is, if you want to share this video, please go ahead and share it. You can share it even after I've gone live, and then you can, uh, if you don't have time to watch it, you can come back later and you can watch it. Um, so. Why, hello. How are you today, uh, Owen? I'm going to make a recipe tonight, so it might be something you might want to cook for dinner one night. I forgot my fork. I'm making spaghetti boat, uh, spaghetti squash banana boots. So, like I was saying, you cook, then you cut it in half, and then, well, first you take, you cut it in half, and you got to clean the seeds out, just like you do, like a cantaloupe or something like that. And then after that, you put them face down. You can season them, put olive oil on them, and do them with salt and pepper. Um, that's not necessary. I didn't do it this time. I don't do it every time. But what I'm going to also do right now is I'm going to cook my meat. And I'm going to spray my pan. Here's my pot. Here it is. because it's not a no-stick pan. Even though there's oil in it, it still seems like it um, sticks to the pan. Now, I don't know that I'm gonna need all this meat, but I'm just gonna cook it anyway. I can put it in another recipe later. I'm making a mess here. Okay, throw this away. So I cooked the spaghetti squash for about, I think it was about 45 minutes. It depends on the size, but when you can pierce a fork through the skin, you know that your spaghetti squash is done. So I've already cooked mine ahead of time because, like I said, it takes like 40, 40 minutes to an hour to cook, depending on the size of it. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to brown my meat.
And this is very, very yummy. All right, so while that's browning, what I'm gonna do is, um, let me show you how to get this out of here. If you look at this, see how stringy it is? Um, the first time I did it, I went that way and it broke my strings all up. So you wanna take it this way and it just literally comes out like this. It's like so easy to get out of here. And obviously you wanna make sure that it's cooled down enough before you go and uh, handle this. Can you hear me okay? Do I sound okay? Now, I've never personally made this before, so I hope it turns out really good. We're trying to eat a little bit healthier, and I like spaghetti squash, so I'm thinking um, this should be pretty good. Okay. I cooked my spaghetti squash a little bit too long. I got a little bit um, busy just doing some other stuff, and I kind of forgot about it. And I walked in the kitchen, and I could smell it, and actually smelled really good. All right, I don't want to break this. So this was my daughter Lisa's request for dinner tonight. And I'm eyeballing most of the stuff I don't have, like I said, a recipe that I'm following. I basically went online and I looked up a whole bunch of recipes and that's what I, I took it from there and that's how I decided how I wanted to, um, oops, how I wanted to cook mine. Yeah, that didn't look so good because that's probably from where I had burnt the um, skin. So, um, yes, yes, you can hear me okay, good, thank you. Hi, Emma. Oh, you love spaghetti squash? Have you ever made this before? Owen, Lisa made a spaghetti squash the other night that was absolutely um, delicious. And I'm gonna cook that on here uh, one night because I wanna make it for my husband because I think he would love it. Okay, so we got this all pulled out of the pan. I'm going to put that back aside. And the spinach, I'm going to use fresh spinach because that's what I like. Because um, I do not like squeezing out the frozen spinach. So, And I'm sure this is better for you. So what I'm going to do is cook it down a little bit. Steam it, I guess you could say. a little bit of water in the pan and let it um, steam up some. Let me grab a lid. That's good enough. I don't have a lid for that pan, so we compromised. So does anybody have big plans for this weekend? I have a quiet weekend. Oh no, that's right. We're going to go see a musical, the Zoosical Musical. It is um, Horton Hears a Who. It's at the Children's Theater down in um, Middletown. It's a cute little place. It's an old uh, theater and uh, it's very cute in there. <clears throat> so we're all excited. You excited Emma to go see it? I hate browning meat. That's like my worst thing. Sorry, I stepped off. But I gotta get my pan out. My um strainer, I mean. I forgot to get that. Yep, Emma's excited. We have some friends 
that are coming also. Oh, I think they heard a doorbell on TV. They're going to bark because I heard it too. I got Annalie occupied in the other room. And that's it. It's just Annalie and I here tonight right now for the moment anyway. I like my feet, my meat, um, uh, what do you call it? Chopped up. I don't like chunks of meat. So, trying to find my tongs. Oh, here they are. They're not in the spot I put them in. Okay, they're starting to get hot. They're going to start steaming up. I'm going to start making my mixture of my ricotta and um, mozzarella cheese and all that. I guess you got to like doing dishes if you're going to make this. See, I kind of broke down what I'm going to do. I don't, like I said, I don't have measurements. So I basically just, just going off of what I think sounds good. So let's see, we're going to put the spinach in the ricotta. Where's my ricotta? Here it is. About how much ricotta? Probably about, I don't know, maybe three-fourths cup of ricotta, I think. Give or take a little bit. I don't know. Might even be a cup, but that looks good. And I like to use sea salt. Have you ever used sea salt before? It's so, so much healthier for you. Let me put a couple pieces in there. A couple pinches of that. It's pink Himalayan salt, actually, is what I'm using. I use both. But I tend to use um, the pink Himalayan more than I do anything else. So, all right, well, we're waiting on the spinach here. Yeah, there we go. It's cooking up nicely. Oh, we put a little bit too much water in there, so we're going to have to wait for this water to boil down. Like I gotta squeeze my spinach out after all. Uh -huh, just what I didn't want to do. Okay. Let's see. If they drain the water out. So what's everybody else having for dinner tonight? over there out of the way and we turn that burner off and this is my reminder that my burner is hot so what's for dinner tonight at your house you're taking it easy this way can also I'm telling you the weeks are rough anymore. You need to take it easy on the weekends. Okay, let me go drain this. I'm a lot 
less water, I guess. All right, now we're gonna drain our meat. garlic got a little bit of spinach in there but that's okay um a little bit of garlic to this and i just buy the minced jar, uh, garlic already in the thing here because just easier i like to do things just the easier way and i think that looks good for the right amount The marinara to the um to the pan i just went to the store and i bought it i wasn't going to make it so whatever brand you prefer and i put my jar upside down and i'll add whatever falls to the bottom when it when it's all done to get every little bit of it. Mmm, it's smelling good. Emma, what are you guys having for dinner? Are you cooking tonight, Ellen? pretty well drained there so let's see all right we move that over to there because that's the one that's hot right now so I'm squeezing that extra um, water out of the spinach probably would have been less wasteful but I didn't want to go and run to the other room and get one because I keep them in the laundry area okay all right so this is very well wrung out now so we get to add this to the ricotta hopefully you can hear me all the way back here around here well nobody eats the beans but me cut the open beans it's a good steak yeah it's a tube steak already added my salt and pepper okay I think we're about ready to assemble it you get a spoon out no mac and cheese with the hot dog style? Because there's nothing like taking your um, baked beans and putting it on top of the macaroni and cheese. The juice is like, mm, still good. All right. So here we go. We're going to start layering now. So we're going to take a little bit of this sauce. it up here 
You put it in the bottom of this um, boat or shell or whatever you call it. Just like you're layering regular uh, lasagna. And if you have a favorite, um, uh, what do you call it? Sauce recipe, you could use it. Okay, here we go. My hands are clean, so I'm just gonna go with it. This is pretty juicy too, actually. I like to get my hands dirty when I cook. So we're gonna put some ricotta. How many layers of ricotta? Um, one, two, okay. So I know how much to put in here. Some of the recipes called for um, cottage cheese, but I'm not a cottage cheese eater. Um, it's not that it tastes bad, it's in my head. I know what it comes from and the process and what it actually is that keeps me from eating it. Okay, so and now we're going to add some more, um, oh, we forgot the mozzarella. See, that's why I wrote it down. Making sure my mozzarella is okay. I've had it in the fridge for a little bit. I did that once. I was in the middle of eating it, and I had bad mozzarella. Oh, I didn't know it until... Um, I guess you could say it was a little too late. <laughs> I was already in the process of eating it when I seen um, some fuzzy stuff, and that was pretty nasty. I didn't get sick or anything, so. Okay. It was just the thought of it, I guess. And then, let's see, we'll put some more of these on. Just looking at my, uh, my notes. Mm, it's looking yummy. I can't wait. And it doesn't cook that long. That's the best part. Oh, Emma's having regular left over lasagna. That's right. Her mom made, um, uh, real lasagna last night noodles and all forgot about that nobody brought me a piece today I see how it is girls okay so we'll put on put a little bit more sauce on here And it doesn't take very long to cook. So while it's cooking, I actually have a, um, a healthy bread recipe. I've never cooked it. There was no comments on how it tastes. So we're going to find out. And I will, I'll write a little thing up on how I did this and put it in the, um, I'll link it in the comments. But I'll also link the bread and I'll let you know how it tastes after uh, dinner. I'll let you know. And I'm hoping that it'll be good. All right, let's put the rest of the ricotta on. Let's divide it in half here. Okay, honey. I told Annalie we would make a cake later. I'm not going to do that live. Everybody knows how to make a cake. Well, I mean, unless you're new to cooking, but just a box cake, nothing fancy. That I really won't be eating because it's not on my list of things to eat. Oh my God. 
guy here. Some more mozzarella. So does this look like something that you would actually eat? Sorry, you're not here to try it. Put a little bit more sauce. No, no. What, babe? My iPad's dead. Oh, no. Take mine. Okay. To watch YouTube? You can watch it just a little bit longer. <laughs> the only time she's allowed to watch it is when she gets her hair combed. Come here, I unlock it for you. Do you remember my number? What? Do you need me to unlock it? Yeah. She's only allowed to watch the YouTube when she gets her hair combed. And now. Because I'm, I want her to be quiet. Whoops. Let me get you there. Hold on. And I don't know my number. And I don't know your number. There you go. I mean your password. I know. You don't know my password. And then we're going to top it with a little bit more mozzarella. And then we can pop it in the oven. And then we can make our bread. I should put so I think I'll put a little bit of water in the pan just um just because I think it might be better for might be better for cleanup one but I don't know set my timer for 15 minutes okay so now for the bread let me just kind of wipe this up it's called what kind of bread am I making it's actually a gluten-free bread and it's called gluten-free paleo garlic rolls I've been trying to eat a little bit healthier trying to cut out the grains and all that kind of stuff so we'll see how this goes. Some recipes are really good and others are, well, let's just say not so good. But I guess it's like anything else. It's a matter of what you like or don't like. So let me get out a measuring cup. Try to have everything ready, but Obviously, you always forget something. And it says you want to combine olive oil. Combine your olive oil, water, and salt. Oh, in a pan. I gotta cook this. Hold on. Okay. So here's my olive oil. Let's see, it calls for a half a cup of olive oil. Now this is a recipe that I found on Pinterest. Okay, so half a cup, here's my recipe, half a cup of olive oil and a half a cup of water. Add olive oil, combine olive oil, water, and salt. Okay. That's interesting because salt and water don't mix. I mean salt and water. Oil and water don't mix, so we're going to see what happens with that. Need another spoon, find one. And they said about a teaspoon of sea salt. So I'm gonna go with some sea salt here. But I'm sure you could use whatever kind of salt you want. Okay. This is the one I've been using, I'm just gonna keep on using it. 
and it says bring to boil and then you're going to add let's see garlic and tapioca flour so I have my tapioca flour right here and you're going to mix thoroughly and let it sit for five minutes oh I never did show you the um the lasagna before I put it in I was so excited I would add mushrooms too, but um, the people in my house would think I was trying to kill them. So it actually calls for onions, but nobody likes onions either, so I left out the onions. There's so many other things I would put in it. So, but there, there's two of them, so what I might do next time, because I'm not sure how far it's gonna go, maybe make one with everything in it that I like and another one with everything in it that, because um, it's the two halves, and I can't see one person eating one half. All by themselves so it might be some leftovers but do it that way and then they can they can eat their boring ones with no onions and no mushrooms Emma you do like spaghetti squash I thought I've made some things that you liked it in no Anything else in there you think would be good to try? I'm curious how the sauce tastes. She does? Yep. Wow. Okay. You know, waiting for a watch pot to boil. So this is going in there and that's going in there. Let me have everything ready for that. It's a very easy recipe. There's not that many things in it. So, and I have a double oven. Uh, I got the big oven on the bottom and the smaller on the top, which I absolutely love. There we go, it's starting to boil. I forgot to get my sheet pan out. Let me get that out. Bring to a boil, it says. Okay. Add in your tapioca flour. You get a dry measuring cup. And you want to add how much coconut flour? I'm sorry, tapioca. Three fourths. I'm probably dirtying every utensil I own. I like things made with coconut flour, so I'm thinking I'm gonna like this. I'm not a huge fan of almond flour, though I do, I do cook with it. You cannot substitute. Tapioca flour, basically what that is, is just cornstarch. And you cannot substitute um, coconut flour. Whoops, got too much in there. You cannot substitute coconut flour for another another flour. Coconut flour is a very, um, I guess you could say dense flour, and it absorbs whatever you um, put into it. I need a, might need to whisk this. Let's see. Oh, I forgot the garlic. Let me get the garlic. Put that in there. This is not looking so good. Woo! Forgot the garlic. Let me hurry up and put that in. Because, like I said, garlic bread. Need some garlic. Hopefully not too much. Mix barley, but 
Look at this. Looks like um a rubbery gooey mess. Maybe that's supposed to look like that. I don't know. We'll find out. Get it off the heat. Sandy join us. Hi Sandy. Owen said hi too. Did you ever find your car in the snow? Okay, it's not mixing thoroughly. I don't know what the deal with that is, but we'll let it sit for the five minutes that it says. All right, five minutes. I know what five minutes is. Hope I didn't get oil on my shirt. Okay, we'll wait five minutes for this. I'm going to get a facial while I'm at it. So tonight's what we're making is, um, and right now in the oven I have spaghetti squash lasagna boots. So it's in a, we're cooking it in the actual lasagna shell. Well, Emma, if it turns out, you can try some tomorrow. But it's not looking so good at the moment. All right, I can put this away. Maybe I should have did it slower. So after that sits, we're going to add an egg, an Italian seasoning, and then how much coconut flour? A quarter cup of coconut flour. Let's see how we're looking. Oh, it's looking so delicious. I should have just made my normal old flatbread that I always make. But I thought rolls would be nice. But live, live video, this is what you get. Yay or nay, flip or flop. Sometimes I do. Sit up there. Hmm. Okay. It's been five minutes almost. I think I'm making um, chicken enchiladas for dinner tomorrow night. I don't know. This is not what I thought it would be. Let me see if it's still hot. Very hot. I wonder if I could use a blender. Rose are they're supposed to be crispy on the outside, slightly crispy, and soft on the inside. But I have to be able to get to that point. Maybe a fork. Let me get a fork. Oh, my forks are in the dishwasher. Woo, that's hot. I gotta get my fork a second. Try the bread, but she's not going to try the uh, lasagna, the spaghetti squash lasagna. I don't know, Emma. I guess if this was 
cool down. I could get my hands in here. But it is hot. My cute little pot holders. Emma made them for me. My granddaughter. A great job she did. Hmm. I don't know. Might not turn out. So we have like nine seconds to go, but I think I'm going to, um, because now it says add in. I wonder once I add the egg in, if it will... Yep, see, there we go. I wonder if we add the egg, if it'll help a little bit. But I'm worried that if this oil is hot, I don't want it to cook the egg. So let's put this in. It calls for some, um, a half a teaspoon of um, seasoning. Italian seasoning. Mm, a little bit more, there we go. So half a teaspoon of that and one egg. And then we're going to combine those. Okay. So what do you think? You think it's going to work? I mean, look at this. It's like... <laughs> Hopefully that oil is not too hot. It don't cook my egg because if it does, this will be going into the trash. Okay. Oh, this seems to be helping a little bit, so we'll see. Just splashing all out of this pan. All right. Just mix in the coconut flour and then knead it. Oh, that's our, um, I thought that was the dishwasher. That's our, our, what you call it? Let's see how it looks. Are we ready? Yeah, black olives would be really good also. Honey, I'm not talking to you. Um, I think I'm just going to turn that off because it will continue to cook. But let me show you what we got so far. Can we see this? What do you think? Mmm, yum. Dinner's going to be good. Maybe artichokes? Hmm, I've never had artichokes in my lasagna before. <laughs> now, have you ever done that before? Put the artichokes in there? Ellen, have you had lasagna with artichokes? Well, that's, I guess you said Mediterranean style. Like I said, I would do all that, but, um... I have a couple people here that would not be too uh, happy with all that. But I, I might make myself a separate one. Let's see if that's hot. No. I might make myself a separate one and put all the good stuff in it. Emma says she might try it. Yay, Emma. It does look good. Have you had dinner yet, Sandy? Let's see what it's. 7.30 your time? It's kneading together nicely, so maybe that... It reminds me of the blob. I don't know if you guys remember the movies back in the day. 
Yeah, it's mixing up a lot better now, so I just hope they come out. I hope they taste good, even if they do come out. Oops, dropping it out of the pan. Johnny said it looks good. Have you ever made spaghetti squash, Sandy? You could eat some of that. <laughs> well, it's so easy to make. You can go back and replay this uh, later. Share it. It'll save it to your timeline. Your uh, yeah, your your timeline or your main page or whatever. Your home your uh, page, and then um, I know this is messy. Uh, you could watch it later, and if you share it. That'll help me too. Reach others, which would be nice. Now Monday, I don't know what time yet we're gonna do it, but Emma and I are making a um, princess dress for her out of tool. It's gonna be mostly her prop, her uh, project. I'll probably help her with the cutting it out. Maybe we'll do all that ahead of time, so it won't be uh, busy watching us cut because tool is a pain to work with. Trying to get it mixed. Still not quite mixed together, but here you want to see what it's looking like so far. Just like, woo. It's like Play-Doh. But I don't want to overmix it because I don't want to make it tough either. Yeah, it'll be later that we'll probably do that. It'll probably be, um, oh, let's say after her siblings leave. So I'm thinking after three, maybe around four or so. Okay, it looks like it's ready. Does it tell me to grease the pan? Yep, grease the pan. Let me wash my hands. Next time you're down, well, I don't know about the next time you're down, but one of these times I'll make it for you, some spaghetti squash. Um, I have a couple spaghetti squash recipes, actually. I'm just going to use the cooking spray. And then it says, take about an inch of dough and roll it into a ball and place it onto the grease sheet and then repeat until you're done. And these take 35 minutes to bake. I'm not going to um, stay on the whole time they're baking, but I will take pictures of them, and I will let you know how they turn out. These are, I mean, an inch is tiny unless they really cook up. Smell really good. Dogs might bark in a second. We have people coming in the door. Here comes Lisa and, and Kayla. It only takes one to make them all bark. You want to say hi? Owen's there. Aunt Sandy's there. No. You could just stick your hand in. Yeah. Kayla doesn't want to be on video. Oh, they're all watching. Yeah. Stick your head in. Where are you at? Right here. Dinner, is it done? It's in the oven. It is done. Take a peek in there. Let Aunt Lisa open it up for you. My hands are uh, a little greasy. I'm hungry. It's done. I gotta take it out and let it sit, but we gotta wait for the rolls to cook. It's not no, in there. No, not that one. 
stuff it look. Looks good. Woo! Yummy! Even Johnny's watching. Okay. okay. I'm going to pull it out and let you guys see it. Or I already did that once. I'm getting these bigger and bigger because I'm getting tired of, tired of it. Okay. I will link these no matter what. But then I'll also tell you how they taste. And everybody's taste is different. So I'm trying to lose weight. Actually, I have been losing weight. I'm doing a weight loss challenge right now. And I'm actually doing pretty good at it. I don't know my overall weight loss yet. I'll know that next week. Next week will be the final weigh-in. Oh, yeah. And I don't know if it could be or not. Probably. I mean, I think it would flatten out just right to do that. You can holler high, Taylor. We don't have to put your face in there. You can come closer. You won't be seen. Okay. Here they are. I mean, they look like little biscuits. Have you ever cooked with tapioca flour, like almond flour and, um... That oven's not on. Aw. <laughs> got the wrong... I turned the wrong oven off. Okay. Hold on. Got to do a little switcheroo. Good thing I got Kayla here, or I'd be waiting on oven or uh, muffin rolls that are not cooking. Wow. Mm. There it is again. Okay. All right. Guess how they're going to come into the reception hall. I know. Hold on. What'd you say? Okay. 35 minutes. And I may or may not come back on just so you can see them and let you know how it tastes. Let me set my timer. Um, just so you can see them and then I can let you know firsthand how they taste. So about 35 minutes, I'll come back and let you guys know. So thanks for joining me. Please share and, um, I will definitely let you know how everything tastes. Talk to you later. Bye.